ナードホールスケイレブとウィルドラゴンボールを視聴オーライトエブリバディウェルカムバックトゥナダーエピソードオブザナードホールスドラゴンボールリワッチカースト So this time we are starting season seven, saga seven, the Tien Shinhan saga. So last time we basically just watched Goku go around and train for three years、mm-hmm. and save some people, meet some interesting characters. And then Will's favorite episode,、uh, Which Way to Papaya Island. <laughs> yep. Goku meets up with,、uh, what's his name? Kankichi. Yeah. Little green fox dude. That's right. Yep. They become brothers. It's great. So, <laughs> yeah. So. With that out of the way, what are your thoughts of these first few episodes of the Tian Shinhan saga? Um, yeah, I generally liked most of it. Most of it was pretty interesting and was, I don't know, just, um, I, uh, it was like, It kind of felt the same, but then also it didn't feel like the same as the tournament, like you know, the, the、mm. previous one. Yeah. um But I i will say that I did, for whatever reason, and I kind of watched like half of it again, and I still、mm. kind of was like, no. I, I didn't, I, I really didn't like the last episode that we watched. Goku and his ring. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Yeah. I just, I don't、it's、know. It's not a great, I, I don't know. A great what episode. Just felt the other well, ones had like tight, kind of tight writing, and like when they'd introduce characters and stuff. A, yeah. yeah. That episode is like a space filler. Okay. Because it's like, and it's one of those things that I'm glad they don't do the whole saga. It's like Goku is going to like win very easily. Mm-hmm. So, they don't focus on Goku for the first, like, you know, four rounds of the, you know, the finals. Right. Which is cool. You know, every,、uh, the other characters get some spotlights. Yeah.、Uh, and then, you know, of course, he's fighting this, like, famous actor, boxer guy, and he, you know, just beats him super quickly and easily. Yeah. And it's like, oh, haha. Yeah. Very funny. Right. Yeah. That、But the whole episode is like his yeah. manager yeah, kidnaps、right. him, and it's like、right. this whole thing, you know, and it's like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's just I, a I time, mean, time filler like kind of. I like, I liked all of that type of, like the concept of it was fine, like Goku trusting somebody and getting taken away from the tournament. And then,、yeah. like, I enjoyed that it was.、Uh, I like that launch comes and finds yeah,、right. him. I, th- I, yeah. I think that's cool. I wasn't trying to emphasize, like, I guess, violent launch, whatever, but like, I like that. <laughs> yeah. That she came and, like, I don't know. I liked all that stuff. It was all like the weird, weird training thing was like really weird with Master Roshi. It was really、mm-hmm. strange. I didn't really understand it because I get that it was supposed to be like Roshi was、um, like, oh, wow, he's so much more stronger than I imagined, but. It was just a lot、yeah. of weird stuff in it. And I was like, oh, okay, where is this going? And then it was like, and then, and then when it ended, it was like, oh, okay, we're ending before <laughs> it gets on to the other stuff. I was like, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so we end, we end there. And then, you know, so we're, it's interesting because it's like we're kind of almost done with the tournament, but yet there's still, uh, Of lots of episodes left in this saga, yeah. So let's just go right down the line, then, right down the line. Um, yeah, so we're starting episode uh 84 Rivals and Arrivals. 
so this is basically um everybody is at the tournament signing up mm -hmm. and the goku is late as usual yeah 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 he swims across the ocean there and he finds the... yeah that was funny yeah He's basically he's like Godzilla, like cutting through the water. You know? through. Uh, yeah, remember that, sh that ship? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, it is very um, reminiscent of the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. Yeah, where it's through could the you, dock. Could you? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Oh, it's that way." And then the guy's <laughs> like, "Was that a mermaid?" <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Huh. I think this is also the episode two you were telling me. Um, it's a very funny, like, English thing. Mm. Yes. Because Master right. Roshi has this, like, freak out on the plane. That's right. Good thing you said that. And, I forgot it was this episode. Yeah, yeah. And it's like they're implying in the English version that, like, Master Roshi, like, hates flying. He's, like, scared to fly. Yeah. And he's like, you yeah. better land this plane right now. Or I'm, so... I'm going to parachute out. And you're like, that's weird. So what they, <laughs> so what ends up happening in in what we actually see in the English dub is that uh, Launch suspects that Roshi and Deku Chun are the same people, kind of thing. Yeah. Because uh, she says something. And so he gets nervous that, and so they dub over that like he's nervous that launch is gonna like out him, so he wants out of the plane, kind of thing. And what really yeah. he says in Japanese is, so apparently the um, the English release of this, I can't remember if it was literally like three months or like fifteen months, like a year later, basically. Mm. Um. It was it was either it was around nine eleven basically it was either like a year after nine eleven or uh, a couple months oh. after it was released in America, and uh, what Launch actually says is like she wants to hijack the plane and she's trying to resist like hijacking the plane, oh. and oh. and then and then it just cuts to Roshi and he has to go to the bathroom and he's like gross about it or something yeah and he embarrasses everybody on the plane which is why when he when they're down on the land he comes he out of the about, bathroom yeah. he talks about the bathroom and everything and all that <laughs> stuff so um yeah. so yeah so instead what they did was merge the two things together they were like okay just make launch think that Jackie Chung and Roshi are the same guy and then make his commentary like I gotta get out of this plane and then everybody's mm. just embarrassed because it's like he's he he overreacts he's crazy it's like that's how they that's how they spin yeah. it because I was like this animation and the way that they're reacting to things like doesn't make it's sense so like out of place yeah but and, and on top of it I mean later it ends up being true but I was like, why would Launch care about Goku and all this stuff? Like, she's always been angry about being around these guys, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. For the time she sneezes and becomes blonde haired Launch, she's always like, she always hates it. She always hates yeah. them and makes them do terrible things. And yeah. yeah, it was kind of fun in this up in this section though, having like a blonde haired Launch just be oh. part of like the crew, and she just was enjoying the tournament. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I like fun. I like that her character like grew into being a part of the gang, like that side of launch. Yeah, yeah. I, specifically, one of the ones that I I enjoy was when, when she's like purple hair launch, and she's like a pacifist, and she's like, oh, she's like, yeah, Krilla needs to like preserve his life and get out of the ring. There's no, there's no point. And then she sneezes, and it's like blonde hair launch, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, Krillin, beat the crap out of him. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. I forget which one episode it is, too. And it's definitely later than the first one here, but she's she's like clearing the way with shooting the gun in the oh. air. There's so many things in this section that are like, hey, so why are the police not involved yet? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's funny though. I I didn't see the um, 
hijack thing. I did see the the part where Roshi was like he had to go to the bathroom and they were about to land, so they had to like fasten their seatbelts and he was all right, right, right agitated about it, you know. Yeah. But that was pretty pretty funny. Seems like you could have just cut out the launch thing and just kept the Master Roshi part the same. Yeah. But that's that's all right. Um, I thought it was funny when Goku shows up to Papaya Island. He okay. climbs the tree and like eats those fruits, and he 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 the tree's like surrounded by all those like tigers. Oh wow! Yes, yes. And he's like, "Oh, here!" And he like gives them fruit, but like obviously they don't want the fruit. <laughs> right, 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 right. You're like, uh oh. And then the next time you see him, he's running down the street and he's wearing like a, a tiger like loincloth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I thought that was pretty that great. Was funny. Yeah. 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 And then they all kind of meet up with each other and I think Roshi like yells at him, like, why why are you late? Why aren't you riding the Nimbus? And he's like, Oh, you you told, you told me told... not to ride yeah. the Nimbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't I haven't been on the Nimbus in three years. <laughs> They're like so you swam he's like yeah yeah I swam over he's like i started at this impossible place and yeah ended up in this impossible place and they're like they're like how yeah i know they just keep like keep forgetting that he's just like crazy strong yeah i keep i always like when they talk when they keep on the when they stay on those guys for a stretch of time, I always think to myself, like, it's so funny that, like, Yamcha was this, like, desert bandit guy with yeah. his, like, transmorphing cat friend. And then that Oolong was some, like, terrible dictator woman kidnapper that they, like, end up, like, fighting. And I'm just like, I think it's Oolong's so funny. the weirdest. So funny. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's so funny and weird. And, and also launch, like, yeah. She was, I think, she was wanted criminal. The, yeah, didn't she want the Dragon Balls? Wasn't she trying to get the Dragon Balls? No, no. Oh, okay, no, I don't think. No, I don't remember that. I'm no. probably getting her confused with that other lady. Yeah, there was another lady that looked like Launch that was working for Red Ribbon. Okay. No, Launch just like was a violent thief that like was wanted, but she wouldn't get caught because she just like sneeze and be the other launch. Okay. And yeah. Krillin Krillin brought her or was it Goku? Goku or Krillin brought her back to Roshi's Island. Remember when they were training yeah. and Roshi was like, I want you to find a girl. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So that's that. Mm -hmm. Uh Goku is taller. Yep. He's drawn a little taller. Yeah. So that's cool. Curlin's still the same height. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They go out to dinner that night. Oh yeah, they go to delicious. <laughs> delicious. <yeah. laughs> and Master Roshi has no money. <laughs> they tell he likes I don't think he threatens the guy, but he basically is like, listen, don't charge me. I'll give you the money when I win the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. So just like last time he, he won the tournament and he spent all his money on like yeah. Goku's meal that night, you know? Yeah. So it's so funny. It's like, why would he even suggest like, hey, we should all go out to eat. Right. And meanwhile, the funniest part about it is you have Bulma's there and she's like, the, oh, yeah, she's a billionaire, you know? Yeah. <laughs> She's super rich. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. I, I like that um Krillin and Yamcha kind of got close. Oh, training, yeah, yeah, yeah. Training on Roshi's yeah. Island and stuff, you know? Yep. So that night, they like both sneak out of the hotel and go like, I oh, think yeah. they're going to go get like an early start and like train and stuff. And like everybody's already at the tournament training and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I just thought that was cool that like those two were together. Yeah, like when they meet up when Krillin meets up with him in the night, he's not like mad at him. He's just like yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah. You're like, who could sleep? 
All that right, yeah. Roshi and Goku snoring away. I like how they all stay together. That was kind of cool. It was, yeah. Their hotel room. Like a big family kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you might need more pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a cool, cool thing. And we see the hotel a few times. Yeah, yeah, a couple times. Yeah, towards towards the end, we did it, we get another crazy thing at towards the end. Yeah, yeah. So that episode ends with them just going to start the tournament. And so episode eighty five is preliminary peril. Yeah. Uh, so this is the one where they like draw their. Um, numbers and they all oh, get yeah. like a spot yeah and this is get, them this is all them, this is them fighting all the like big Weirdos. guys but <laughs> like yeah because like um i can't remember who fights who i know krill or uh, goku fights like a really big guy i mean they're all big but i know goku fights a guy. Krillin fights that giant dude. Okay. Um, let's see. So Yamcha starts, I think. I think this is the first we see. It's that like martial art guy. Remember he like jumps up and kicks that piece of wood like in front of him. Oh wow, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And it will and I wrote down kicking wood is not intimidating. No. <laughs> And Yamcha just kind of like slides in and like backhands him with his fist like in the face and like yeah, knocks him yes. out. Yeah. Yeah. Then I wrote Krillin always gets the huge guy to fight. Yeah. I don't remember his name. It wasn't the sumo guy. No, it wasn't the sumo guy, no. Um I like that Krillin kind of took a page out of Goku's book by like faking. <laughs> Where he like picks him, the big guy like picks him up and is like squeezing him. Oh, yeah. And Krillin's yeah. like, ah, ah. Yeah. And everyone's right. like, oh, no. And he's like, yeah, I'm just acting. I was <laughs> actually going to go to acting school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was yeah. pretty funny. That's good. Uh, and then you get a lot of Tien talking trash in this episode. Uh, pretty much every episode. Yeah. <laughs> I like he's... how he'll like, he will talk trash and then Chao Tzu will say something really stupid and he's like really embarrassed. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they wrote down, uh, Tien's awfully confident for a guy who's never even thrown a, a punch at Yamcha yet, you know? Right. Yeah. They don't belong in the tournament. Yeah, I'm trying I to think. So... I forgot how creepy Chao Tzu is. He's very creepy. He just kind of stands there. It's so yeah. funny because it's like so not, so not like who these guys are later on. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, he's he's weird. He's very strange. yeah. I mean, I get I it. I get, I get that he's supposed to be strange but i still don't know if he is like a humanoid or if he's like an android or i don't know what he is but i don't know i got the impression that like he's just a weird he's just a weird thing I, I can't tell you how many times this is the thing that always makes me laugh <laughs> and i know that it's like it's just it's just the way you know the the animation and the style and like the world that they're building it's what they wanted to do i still go back to this the thing in the very beginning when bulma comes across goku and she like freaks out because he has a tail yeah right yeah all right and i, I was just... like there's so many weird it's like crazy. animal yeah. people in the audience like so many like a giraffe yeah. oh yeah and then you get to this guy Tian, yeah. and he has a third eye. Yeah, he's a cyclops, that, and nobody cares. Like nobody cares that he. And has we see later eye. on that even when he's sleeping, that one stays open. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> and it like uh, moves too because most yeah. of the time it's static on his head but in that scene you're talking about he like looks over at the window yeah. and it also moves too i was like yeah oh, boy. yes and then don't forget that you know in, the, in this tournament alone they have to fight a, a werewolf and yeah right you, you know a few episodes ago they fought like a mummy and <laughs> right a dracula and right <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, and and she was so weirded out by his by his tail, and it's like you have people just walking down the street. They even showed the crowd at one point, and there's like all these people, and then there's like this tiny little like a lion guy, like on standing on top of the wall, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, <laughs> this is like the society is so screwed up." Oh, and not to mention there's like actual dinosaurs just right. roaming, <laughs> and then you know totally even right. some of them fight sometimes. You know some some right, of the dinosaurs. Right. Are, uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty funny. Just really funny. It just always makes me laugh when they're anytime they introduce something crazy, I'm always like, she really shouldn't have freaked out about him having a pale. No. No. But that also is like introducing characters and stuff too. So it's like I get true. Oh man. Mm-mm-mm. I thought it was funny. It's like every time Tian and Yamcha like talk to each other, they're about ready to like fight each other, even in like the dining hall. And it's like, oh yeah, like every time in a it... pretty pretty big hurry to get kicked out of the tournament. You know, you're talking all this trash about like how tough you are, then like you're just gonna get kicked out from <laughs> the tournament and not even fight in it. Like how stupid is that? You think that I can't fight? I think you can't fight at all. I oh, can't yes, I can you. fight. I'll fight you, Brady. <laughs> Yeah, I like how <laughs> he shouts. Chow Tu staring at Krillin. Yeah, and he just says midget. <laughs> <And> they're like <laughs> the same height. <laughs> and then Krillin says, "I'll have you know, my parents were six feet tall." <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was the funny part. Yeah, and Bulma makes fun of the crane hat, which is funny, because that is it's the most ridiculous hat oh, I've ever seen. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah that's... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I get it, but it's also like... I I, I guess it's not like terribly weird, because that's like how cranes are. Like, what that's like their knowing thing. No, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. And like, ho- and like um, Roshi... Where's Where, the turtle? Like, the turtle shell. Like I get it, right? But it's like, yeah. okay. But it's just so funny to be like this really tough, you know, guy, and you walk around, and you get this little like bird head just flopping off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. What did you say about my students? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. New. No. I like the part where um, is it Goku? No, it's not Goku. Uh, I think I forget. Is it Tien that's fighting that big sumo guy? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I forget who it was, but they're like, "Wow, that was four punches." Oh, and Krillin's like crashing. That was four punches and four kicks. <laughs> yes, yes. But that was pretty funny. Yeah. And then Goku fights King Chapa. King Chapa. He's yep. won like a ton of tournaments before. He's never been touched. You know, he's never been hit once. Yeah. Goku knocks him right on the snozberry like immediately. <laughs> that was a pretty good fight, though. Yeah. Um, because like, yeah, he he beat him, obviously, but like it wasn't just like a one punch knockout, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. The funny part about that is he says, don't be afraid, little one. I'll stop before I kill you. And Goku says, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think I think that was the big. I think they actually finished that fight in the next episode. I think so, too. Yes. But do you remember the song that was playing during like fighting? Like they were all kind of fighting in the preliminary rounds and they like they had like that song like running in the background. In Japanese, it was a Japanese song. Maybe. 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 
but I looked up the lyrics to it. Oh. Because I love seeing the, the, the English translation of Japanese song lyrics. So it was kind of played. They were all kind of like fighting and they were showing like the different rounds and it was like I kind of remember, yeah. So the lyrics are <laughs> the lyrics are grab the romanticism. Mm. Tenkachi. Experts of every martial art have gathered here in this city to battle it out in the dream tournament. Goku takes to the air with his twirly tail. And there goes Kuririn, which is Krillin in Japanese. Okay. Unleashing an amazing move. Run. Feel the wind in your heart. Number one, number one, number one. Who will it be? <laughs> those, are the, <laughs> those are the song lyrics. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it sounds so much better in Japanese. Number one, number one, number one. <laughs> like always, it always sounds better in, yeah. in Japanese. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. Yeah. 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 So episode 86. Then there were eight. Yep. Then there were eight. Yep. So Goku beats King Chapa. Um, by like stopping himself midair. Remember that? How he. Oh yeah, with his breath. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like he used his breath to like stop, yeah, so he missed like the punch. The... Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. And King Chap was like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to use my eight-handed technique," and it was basically just like him punching quickly punching. with both hands. Yeah. And then Goku tells everybody, like, yeah, I'm saving some of my best techniques for later. <laughs> yeah, like he, yeah, yes. He does all this cool stuff, and then he's like, yeah, it's not really, I'm not really doing anything new yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. It's pretty fun. Uh, and then Jackie Chun goes into the ring, and he's like so focused on like if he can actually like beat Goku this time. Oh, yes. That he's like not even paying attention to the fight, yeah. That he's in, and then he's like so focused that he sees like he sees Goku like rushing towards him, and he <laughs> kicks <laughs> he kicks that guy so hard. Yes, yes. I forgot who he was fighting. I don't remember either. Yeah. Oh, this is where the song is. So that's my that's my fault. Oh, the fight okay. song montage is here after Jackie's fight. Because then they eat lunch after. <clears throat> the thing that I really liked was... um, I don't know if it was the past episode or this episode. It probably oh. was the past one. Um, I really... Uh, was surprised and then enjoyed the like dun, 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 and they do like the, the oh, Japanese butter character for like I, the start of the tournament tournament I don't remember I thought that that started during like it the finales the f does it like, start the actual like, fight yeah like when they're doing that okay maybe but I enjoyed yeah. it either way. Whenever I it started, like I, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. They did that in the first tournament. They did that in like, the last cool. tournament, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. And then, like, the logo would come up, and then it would say, like, the title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did like that. Um, One of the vendors I thought was very funny. He was out selling stuff outside. Okay. And he says, get your genuine unofficial shirts. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did hear that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, yes, yes. And this is like when Launch uses the actual gun to shoot the like all the like the toys yeah. of the shooting range. Yeah. Like all the arcade stuff. What do they call that stuff? But yeah, like the Yeah. Yeah. What do they call that at the, at the fair? Right? What do they call that area? Oh, like the Midway or the, Midway, um, yeah, like yeah. all the Midway stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
thought that's pretty funny that they have like it's a kind of like a whole area set up for for people that are waiting until like yeah, the actual yeah. like f- final tournament starts, you know. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think too we get this funny quote from Jackie Chun saying that like he couldn't possibly be Roshi because Roshi is too handsome. Okay, <laughs> I kind of remember. And then Tian and Yamcha are fighting again. Roshi's not fat. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you great person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we meet Nam again. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was surprised that that happened. Yeah. Yeah, and Nam is looking for a fun rematch. Yeah, and I forgot, too. They were like, that. there's that scene where they say, I think Goku says it. He's like, why would you help? Why would you, Jackie, help Nam in his village? Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, I just, you know, I, just, I gotta, you know. And then even oh, Nam yeah. catches himself where he's like, oh, you know, and he's like, ah, and he catches <laughs> and he's like, oh, yes, Jackie. Jackie helped me. Yeah. I like that. That was the first question. Like, oh, does your village need water again? And he's like, oh, no, this time I'm here for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I like that, too. Like Goku says to him, like, no matter what happens, like, we'll still be friends, right? Because, like, obviously, like, you can just, like, fight and still be, like, friends. You're just, like, yeah, in a yeah. tournament for fun, you know? Right. Like, you, you don't have you... to take it so seriously, like, yeah. Tien, right. right? Yep. You don't have to hurt people, you stupid idiot. Um, Yeah, so, speaking of that, Tien, like, <laughs> whoops, Nam, pretty badly. Oh, yeah, that was, that was rough. I don't even think I think they first introduce him Nam is like comatose essentially, and then they show you kind of like what happens, right? I think that's how it plays I don't out. Remember. I don't I, I thought I thought like they're talking and then I, also they're they doing something. Nam. Yeah, they're doing something and they're like, Hey, we need a ambulance over here. Right, right. And they run over and it's Nam and he's just like knocked out. And the guy's like, Yeah, he has head trauma. Yeah. And then it's like when they see Tien like leaving the ring and they're like, he's an amateur, shouldn't even have entered the competition. (laughs) Goku almost goes Super Saiyan for the first time. (laughs) Yeah. I thought that I liked that though. I liked how like Yamcha and Tien have been fighting the whole time. But then, like, now Goku is, like, he has to be held back. It's pretty great, you know? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's interesting to be, have him, like, not care because he doesn't care because he's just there to do the, like, he's just there to be in the tournament to have fun and, like, show how good he's trained and how good he's yeah. done in the in that time. Yeah. And then now it becomes, like, personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. The funny thing too is Tien, Tien, Tien is so confident that he's going to defeat Goku for someone who has not even laid a hand on him. Right. You know, you think back to their first fight. Yeah. He goes to they like punch each other, and he, you know, Goku like dodges all of his punches. Right. And then he goes to kick him, and Goku dodges his kick, and he kicks the tree, and the tree falls on him. It's like right. Okay, you didn't. You didn't hit him. You didn't hit him once, you know? Right. You know? And then, like, later on, we'll get to it, but later on, he's like, oh, well, you know, I've I've defeated the the best that Eternal Hermit has, so the other twos are are nothing. And it's like, he he just started training with Master Roshi, like, (laughs) three months ago, you know? It's like, do your research, dude. Like, (laughs) do your your research, you know? Pretty funny stuff. Um, yeah. There is a funny part here where Bulma and Launch, they, I think everybody's together and they're like, yeah, we don't know where Roshi is. We never know where Roshi is. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, well, that's good anyway, because I need a break from that old man. And then man, <laughs> Roshi comes up behind her and he yes. says, I'll tell you what you need a napkin. Because <laughs> you got 
Did I come sure. here to see my boys fight, not stuff my face with sweet. <laughs> 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 yeah so i forget like i because i don't remember the first tournament set up as much so is he constantly wearing a bald cap i don't know no he glues the wig on he glues the wig on okay because remember how that ends he's trying to like pull it off and it won't come off which is funny because he okay he has to change so many times you know yeah yeah okay so he glues the wig on okay okay I like how he he just will find like some shrubs and just go in and change in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He carries around his little briefcase everywhere. He's just got like yep. his wig and his uniform in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what was really funny? I uh, for whatever, I'm glad I remembered it. Was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or uh, two days ago. I was driving and this guy was on like a motorcycle kind of like almost like a dirt bike, but it was a motorcycle. Yeah. And he was going up. He was going like, so I'm going this way and he's coming up. And um, he had like a big, thick white mustache and like a big, thick white beard. Yeah. And it was only here. He And it was long and it was like trimmed kind of like, like uh, pointed. Mm-hmm. He had no facial hair here, and he had like round, thick, dark sunglasses. <laughs> and he, I don't think he was bald, but he had like this black, smooth helmet, like this That's really funny. thing. And I was like, and he was thin. And I was like, dude, this guy literally looks like Roshi, like driving a motorcycle like <laughs> the road. It was hilarious. It's pretty great. Have you seen those? Uh, they're not super recent pictures of like Arnold Schwarzenegger, just kind of like around town, and he looks okay. like he looks just like Roshi. He's wearing like this bright, like Hawaiian shirt and oh. shorts and sandals, and he's got like the beard and mustache. Oh, he does have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't <laughs> seen it, but I have seen. Pathetic. And he's, ba- and he's bald, you know. Oh, oh that's it's... funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe he's gonna play Roshi in the new Dragon Ball movie. God, God. yeah. Who won? Can only hope. Um, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I think so. Then this episode ends with launch shooting, clearing a path like down to the front of the yeah, and it was really funny, right? Because it was like who it was Krillin, Roshi, and Yamcha were like embarrassed by it, Mm -hmm. and the other ones were like, nice, yeah, yeah, Poir loved it, I think, yeah, Poir and Ulan, they loved it. And I think Bulma, I think Bulma and like Goku, like all were all just like cool. So ridiculous. Yeah. So now she's used her gun at like the shooting range and now she's using it to like clear crowds and it's like no one yeah. cares. <laughs> no one. Does it it didn't doesn't age well in our in our modern society of open no. gun fair and crowds. It's so just it's yeah, well. it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, episode eighty-seven is Yamcha versus Tien. So finally, we're getting into some actual action here. Yeah, yeah. So all their smack talking can be settled. Yeah, it was cool. I I, I thought all of the like fast punching, like them constantly attacking each other and like not really hitting. Uh, each other was pretty good it was really yeah. actually really interesting it's a great fight yeah you know does the so the last episode ends with that funny picture of him standing there and then like that and the wolves are like coming around so the last episode ends with no that no no it's this one this one ends with that oh okay because they're almost done they're almost done with the oh and then he's fight. like now i'm gonna do it's like wolf yeah wolf fang blowing wind yes <laughs> yes okay yeah and so this it, episode it, leads up to that and the next episode is the cut right it's not this part it's the next episode this episode ends with that cut at the end and then he actually you actually see the technique in the next episode Oh, sorry. I meant the cut like on their faces. That happens in the next episode. I think it, it does. might be this one. I think it does. I think it's the next episode. 
Might be I think one. in this episode, it's just mainly the two of them like fighting and like they can't land blows. I mean, they do land blows, but like they, yeah. it's, it's very they're pretty limited. evenly matched in this right in this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think the I think the like yeah I think that's next episode. Yeah. So this one starts with like <laughs> TN. TN and Krillin again are just like staring at each other. <laughs> and Krillin's yeah. like, what are you looking at? And he's like, balding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like, you're bald too. And he lifts his hat and he's got like the one that curly cue, one yeah. little hair. And he calls him a pasty unicorn, which I thought was really yep. funny. Meanwhile, Goku's doing handstands, like walking around. Oh hands. yeah, he's just walking yeah. around on his hands. Do, yeah. Do, do. <laughs> <He's walking laughs> around uh what about that part where a poor uh not poor Oolong is looking for Roshi and he runs into the women's <laughs> bathroom looking yeah, for Yeah, I was Roshi. confused what was happening there. Yeah. He runs into the women's bathroom. he says he does it on accident, but I don't know if that's a translation thing. I think I, I didn't look into it. I figured it was a translation, but thing. also like that is you would assume Roshi would be in there. So well, true. Yes, wrong. But the th- we do see a couple of f- funny things in there. The one stall he opens, there's a there's a guy sitting in there and he's eating like a bento box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the other like... stall, there's a guy. There's a guy sitting in there and he's like counting money. Yeah, and then the third stall like actually has like. A, a girl, girl. Like, a girl on it, yeah. I was, I was so confused because when he comes back and he's like, "Oh, I was in the girls' bathroom." I'm like, "Was he in the girls' bathroom?" Because there was mostly guys in there. I don't know what the frick, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Um. Oh, so this is also too where we see um, Chaozu uses his telekinesis with the paper. To 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 yeah. So that's what he was doing. I wasn't sure if he was like controlling the wind or if he had like actual like powers. Know to what he's, he's got all yeah. sorts of stuff. It's like whatever you want him to have, he's got it. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's telekinesis. I think it, he's like. Bing. <laughs> so the thing that we're supposed to, we're 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 led to believe is like, Chao Su by, uh, Tian and what's his name Shen? Is that the other guy's name? Who Master. uh Shin, yeah, Master Shin. Yeah. The <clears throat> they're having sh- uh sh- uh Su like orchestrate the tournament yeah. lineup. Yeah. Okay. Basically. Yeah, Tien is Tien is telling him like Okay, okay. Give me Yamcha and then Yeah. Basically give Roshi Man Wolf because he's seems like he hates him for some reason. And then the rest is just like, you know, whatever. So Chaozu picks Krillin and he gives Goku that other guy. I forget his name. Pop, 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 Yeah. I love this too because everybody picks their numbers. Yeah. And so there's only one number left and they're and the guy's oh. like, all right, so that makes Goku yeah. eight. And he's like, how do you know? I didn't even pick my number yet. Yeah. And then he goes, and everybody, over. you know, Tian's like, "Oh, what an idiot! What an absolute idiot!" And Chaozu's like, "What's wrong with wanting to pick your own number, <laughs> dude?" And then I like, then Goku goes over and he actually picks his his thing. Yeah. And he's like, "Wow, he's like, how did wow. you know?" It's like, yeah, lucky guess. <laughs> yeah, and it was yeah. funny. It was the same announcer guy too, which I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, he's back. That was funny. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, they recap the launch thing, which I thought was funny. I don't know if that's like a time filler, but like purple haired launch comes in and they're like, "Oh yeah, we got these great seats thanks to the launch." And she's like, "What are you talking about?" And then they showed like what happened in the last episode with her like shooting her way through the crowd. Oh yes, yes. And it was like, oh, okay. Yes, there were a couple things like that where I they just, do it a I, few just, times. Yeah. I fast forward through it because I was like, okay, I don't need the. I already they know. Do, they do stuff later on where, yeah, well, we'll get there. But um, 
Yeah, they show like what just happened, and it's like, in case you forgot, like I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then Yamcha and Tian fight each other. They're pretty even, and it ends yeah. with um, Yamcha gonna use the blowing wind technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's impossible. pretty good. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah. So, episode 88, it's called Yamcha's Big Break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah. That was rough. Toriyama, Toriyama does Yamcha dirty in this episode. He man. really does. He, like, really um, does. Like, the original, oh. so so that's the American title. Okay. Um. So, the original title is Onwards Yamcha, The Incredible Tenshinhan. So, I think you know. Feels, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously he fun. he you know Toriyama wrote what happened, but the American title is like, "Hey, this is Yamcha's big break." <laughs> I get it. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rough. That was rough, man. Um, you get to see, yeah, you get to see the blowing wind though, and I thought that was cool when like the. The wolf like bites his arm and then yeah, turns yes. back into his hands and he's like grappling up his arm. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. It was cool. And they have a pretty they have a couple of good uh remarks to each other, you know. You know, TM they say terrible but... things to each other. He's like, Oh, I thought the only language you spoke was pain, you know, things like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty great. And I don't speak pain. Like, yeah, for <laughs> someone who doesn't speak pain, you're pretty fluent in it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you guys going to fight? Or are you just going <laughs> to... Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, what's cool is this is the episode where Yamcha is basically like, oh, yeah, I've been, I've been practicing this. And he uses the Kamehameha. Yeah, yeah. I thought that, that was, was pretty cool. It was very cool. So it's funny, right? So your wishes, well, your single wish from last saga yeah. was like you want to see Goku use a new technique. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny you're getting that with other people, a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so Yamcha using the Kamehameha is pretty pretty cool. He's not wasn't trained like Roshi didn't train him, right? Yeah, he just, just kind of watched Goku and figured it out, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. And they yeah. alluded to like he had been practicing that like on his own, like before the tournament. Right, right, yeah, yep, yeah. But so basically, um, they take to the sky a lot in this battle too. In this yeah. Fight. Oh yeah, he does. He does the ah. yeah. <laughs> he flies up and he like yeah. comes on and kicks him a bunch. Yeah, and then and then TM does the like thing where he kind of like mm. gathers yeah. his like chi in the front and yeah. he's like, oh yeah, I'll try it again. And he jumps up again, does the same move. Yeah. And it's like, why would you try the same move twice? Yeah, that was funny. But the Kamehameha thing is, he uses it and TM does the yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he like deflects it back at him. Yeah. So Yamcha has to like dodge it in the air and then like while he's looking at the audience it just got blown up. Yes. Um Tian basically just like s- jumps and sneaks up behind him and like, you know, basically knocks him back to the ground. He hits yeah. the tournament ring pretty pretty hard, uh, doesn't he? Yes. Yes. Like, I yeah, oh, and he like bounces <laughs> off. Of him, you know? Yeah. So that's pretty cheap, you know. It's like would would Yamcha have lost if he didn't get, you know, knocked to the ground and almost paralyzed. Yeah, it's a hard question. It's hard because I think I think eventually because they keep they keep indicating that those two guys, both him and the the other little guy like oh are like kind of like Goku where it's like they they're like oh they can do they can do they do this thing and they're like oh wow and then it's like yeah but they're not doing everything that they can possibly do you know kind of thing yeah so I feel like I feel like 
they had a lot of stuff in their back pocket that they weren't he specifically him in that fight mm-hmm. like he wasn't using against Yamcha. Yeah. Yeah. Team, uh, yeah. And nothing against nothing against um like Roshi or Krillin or Yamcha, but it's just like much of their stuff is just on like endurance and like strength and um speed and stuff like that. They don't really necessarily as as we see, we don't really yeah. get powers. Right? No. He's not teaching him to have like powers. He's just teaching him to have like again like endurance and speed and like stamina. Yeah. I know, and it's like his claim to fame is the Kamehameha, but like he has not shown them how to use it. It's right, been right. a thing where they have just figured it out themselves. You know? Right. And so, you know, perfect example is, you know, here's here's the guys like doing doing things, and they don't they can't do any of that stuff. So it's like I, I as much as I like Yamcha and I'd like for him to beat him up, it's like. I don't, I don't, I think what's his name? Tian had like way more yeah. powers than he was letting out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of the, it's a typical martial arts thing where it's like, you know, they're evenly matched, but then it's like uh, he has all this like hidden potential yeah, right. that he doesn't use until he like really has to, you know, he has to, right? Yeah. 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 yeah that's a theme that you'll see continue. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's um, always and, um, <laughs> it's like a martial arts thing but it's also uh, like a dragon ball thing i've always even from knowing limited dragon ball z it's always like yeah i've done my ultimate weapon and he didn't get destroyed and it's like well instead of being like well i don't know how to defeat this guy it's like well i'll just do uh this other thing that i it's <laughs> impossible for me to do and then they do it and you're like, like okay <laughs> my my brain always goes to like the frieza the Frieza saga where it's like right. so Frieza is this alien that can transform a few times right. and it's like you know he's like oh I I never get to this form because you know right no one <laughs> exactly. is strong enough exactly and then it's always like well I can't hold this form that long because it takes a lot of energy but I, I need it this time you know it's like that's basically <laughs> that's Dragon yeah. Ball summed up <laughs> yeah right 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 yeah, yeah, but then Tian breaks him just like pretty, pretty good. It was rough. I did not see that coming. Yeah, was like, he was wow. already and like Goku said, like he he already was, you know, he already had won. He was knocked out. He didn't because you think about it when you really think about it, they don't really deal with like bones in the show. Like yeah. the thought of breaking bones isn't really in the show, mm-hmm. and anytime like stuff happens it's just like this guy gets like a you know like a smudge mark on his head or a red mark on his head and it's yeah. like he's he's defeated he's knocked out or what, what, whatever it is like throughout the entire like series so when he comes down and like and he hits it and it's like crunch and it's like flopped over yeah it's like oh man like that's bad it's so much more brutal for the show because like they don't do that kind of stuff you know what i mean I think this show is cool in a way where I think you do see some like lasting injuries. Yeah. Um you know, like for a while. Um I I I think I'm my brain goes to like Vegeta. Vegeta got like a severe arm injury and like way later on whenever he's like fighting, you he always kind of see him like holding his like shoulder. Because it's like an it's like an old injury that like flares up like while he's like overexerted himself, and it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool that it's like a consistent part of. It's like, well, you broke, you know, he broke this bone, and it's like, well, yeah, but he's fine now. It's like he, they always have like a a thing. I I think that's cool, and I think Yamcha has like a leg thing going forward. Yeah, not severely, but it's definitely a thing that like. Well, kind sure, of limits yeah. him. It kind of limits him for sure, you know. Well, I assume if it's especially if it's after following... Bulma stomps on it, but oh wow, well, yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna say, I assume if you're following the the manga or the anime, or whatever, um, that Toriyama would like. Yeah, he's writing this thing, so he would know. Yeah. Like, he knows all these characters. You know what I mean? I just love that. I just love that consistency. You know? Yeah. And like you said, it's a thing where it's like you don't, you know, these guys or these people are fighting and it's a show and 
but to actually have stuff that's like permanent a permanent right right yeah it was it was very it was very very unexpected yeah so this episode ends with um roshi and krillin and goku eating in the restaurant okay and shin and tian and chaotzu come in oh yeah kind of gloating about the wind you know Yes, yes, yes. Gloating about beating Yamcha. And Coco basically just like stands up and he's like, knock it off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Roshi's like, Goku, this we don't don't fight here. And he's like, I'm just going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well then like Roshi gets out of his chair and walks backwards and they, you know, him and Shin squabble like two two children. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny, actually. So it's yeah. like, you know, they grew up together and then kind of went their separate ways, kind of like ways, yeah. started to like hate each other, you know? Yep. I almost wondered if it's anything to do with Shin's brother that we'll talk about in a minute. So Maybe. episode... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of trying to fly through these because it, it, the, the more sagas that we start to cover and like doing half of a saga is becoming like more episodes because because oh. of, you know we're only halfway through and there's only two sagas left so it's like yeah. all of the meat is in these last like three things so we're we're covering more episodes per I show see. now yes. yeah. so um, if you feel like I'm rushing through stuff just let me know Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um uh episode eighty nine is full moon vengeance. <laughs> yeah. This is a pretty this is a pretty wacky episode, huh? It was wacky. I liked it. I liked yeah. it because it called back to the original. <laughs> <part of that. laughs> yeah. Is he like retconned in? Like is he is or is he in the original? I forgot, I forgot to look. I was gonna look. Okay. Look. You might be seeing it right in this area, right here. Wow, we were so wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good I question. Yeah, I did. I, I I was gonna go back and look too, and I was like, then I just forgot. I almost can picture his stupid face standing there, but I yeah, just be a Mandela effect. You know? Same, same. Oh, so I, I used to be a dude. Does um, he does he <laughs> defeat him in this episode? Or while well, whatever does he stop fighting yes. him in this episode? It's okay, this whole so, episode. Yeah. So the thing that I thought was so weird, and I was fine with the terminology, like Wolf Man. Is I was going to talk about it because he explains it, and then literally goes on to be the exact opposite of what yes. he explains. Yes, I was like, he was so angry that he was denying him his humanity, and I was like, so literally. He's angry that um, he can't change into the man now. Where it would be yeah. like it would be like the man being angry that he can't change into the wolf. Like that would be the same argument. And yeah. I was like, it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. So it's so he's a human who turns into a wolf at the full moon. Right. The full moon was blown up while he was a wolf. Uh so now he's a wolf. <laughs> well, no, yeah. So you're close. What it is is he is a wolf. But during I don't think full, so. During the full moon he turns into a human. Because, no, it's, because... The, it's it's the reverse of what a wolf man. Is. I know, but that's the thing about the explanation is it's wrong. Because no. when he, when they show him, <laughs> when they, no, listen, when they show him at the tournament, when the moon explodes, yes, he is a, in his wolf form. He is. Which he means is. he, which means he's a human and he turns into a wolf during the moon. Because the full I, moon was out. Or does that happen at night? I'm just telling you, in that explanation sequence that he gives, he says... That 
<laughs> that. That's why I'm so confused because then he goes that. by he goes by man wolf, which means he's a man that turns into a wolf. Right, but that's not what it is. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> His explanation is a wolf, uh, a wolf man is a man who becomes a wolf at the full moon. He's like a werewolf, essentially. That's what a wolf man is. So man wolf is a wolf that becomes a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he explains. And you're like, I was fine with it because whatever, it's a that's a funny take on it. Like, who cares? I was fine with it. But then the but whole... he was mad, but he was mad about not being a human. Exactly. That's what that makes sense. So he's a wolf man. <laughs> yeah, I was so confused. Right. They, and I watched this episode twice and I was still confused by it. I know. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, it was so weird. I couldn't understand. He was explaining it and then he was mad about the, the opposite. Yes. And yeah, when he says a line and I was literally like, what? Yeah, like right? that doesn't make sense to what you just no, explained. No, it doesn't. And then, and then a few minutes later, he was like, "You're de- my, de- my, denying me my humanity." And I was like, "Yeah, but I thought you were." Uh, it's like man wolf. Wolf, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. I also just love too that he looked better as a werewolf. That was the funniest yes. part about the whole yes. thing. It was like, was everyone was like, I don't. They must. He must not have mirrors. Where he comes from, <laughs> <laughs> and even Krillin was like, "Yeah, I had to at least grow a beard or something." <laughs> <laughs> because then think about it. Then think about it. Think about how it works. He's a wolf, mm-hmm. and to get him to change, he does the Krillin moon thing, yeah. and the moon makes him change into a human. <laughs> yeah, right. Because he literally yeah. was mad that he that he that Roshi was denying him the thing he changes into. But then he should be com- he should be comfortable in his wolf appearance because that's his natural form. Yeah. So what I know. The frick? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> that's why I it's was gonna like... be an English translation issue Maybe. or something. I don't know because. It... I don't, I don't know. know the the Krillin moon head was the funniest part of the episode. I mean, just well, yeah, where it sparkles <laughs> like where it actually like turns into. <laughs> it was oh, so. Man. It was the it was the most it was the most attention I gave the show with its wording. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, what's happening here? Like since we've yeah. started, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> scroll yeah. down. Yeah, so that was pretty funny. But yeah, so then this episode ends with Krillin gets into the ring with uh Chao Tzu. I don't yes. think anything else in this episode happens he turns him back into a human he wins the tournament he uh he basically wins <laughs> he wins he wins by throwing a bone off the stage yeah and man wolf goes and gets it and it's like <laughs> that's always like the one of my like favorite like bits in dragon ball is like when a character does this thing and then realizes that like everyone is looking at him yeah, or whatever. This realization of like, oh man, did that just happen? And he's like, he's standing there with the bone in his mouth, and he's looking around at the crowd, and he's just like, <laughs> 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 yes. So I find it so yes, funny. Yes, yes. So, episode ninety, ninety is the Dodon wave. Yeah. So interesting, right? We've seen, we've heard that before, haven't we? It was it was really interesting, but I really don't like Chiatsu, whatever. It is no, there. no, no. Interesting. Well, he's basically like he was little, fine, and then this episode kid, happened, yeah. and I was like, "Oh wow, yeah, I don't like this guy." Why you just because you feel like he's just overpowered, or 
No, you know what it, or he reminded me of? You remember, like, mm-hmm. you ever when you were a kid, like, you go over to a friend's house or, like, a relative or something, and then you're sitting down and you're playing a game, like, especially, like, a fighting game, like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or mm-hmm. something, or Tekken, and you're playing... They knew all the moves. <laughs> no, no, no. Close. Very close. They know, like, these two moves. Yeah. Punch, and crouch, move, kick. Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> No matter every, no matter what you do, they always just keep doing the exact same move, like over and over mm. and over again. And now yes. you're trying to figure out like how to fight, like, how to block that move and counter it. And then they just keep doing this over this the same animation thing. It was like it reminded me so much of like he doesn't do anything different, but the exact every time Krillin does all these cool stuff, and then he's just like, oh, I'll just keep doing the same thing I'm doing. Okay, yeah, you know? okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah yes yeah no i i totally get that yeah i think i think the thing that he does the same he flies he uses the dodon wave and then he uses his telekinesis to like make krillin's stomach hurt yeah <laughs> that's in the next episode but yeah um this episode starts with them trying to get food And okay. All the vendors come over and they're like, yeah, and they like run away. Yes. And then Shen, uh, Shen comes over and he's like, oh, it's not you. It's that guy behind you. He's like, oh, oh yeah. Up. And Bulma's like, oh my God, is that a mummy? <laughs> so she's scared of mummies still, you know? Still. Um, And it was like the I, guy that like lost. I was about to be like, no way. Oh, uh, because obviously you they call it Dodon Wait, whatever the episode yeah. is like here's the name of the episode, and I was like, okay, mm-hmm. Like, what are they gonna do in this episode? And like, is somebody gonna use this, you know, technique? And then that scene happens where they're outside, and it's like, oh, they're afraid of that guy. And he's all bandaged up. And I was like, if mm. that bandaged up guy oh, yeah. is mercenary Tao. Because he didn't die from the grenade. Yeah. I was going to be like, get out of here. <laughs> I was going to be like, they really emphasized that that guy was dead. Like they showed him, like, and then they re show it too. They show him, yeah, like, essentially like burning up from the explosion, like in the sky. <laughs> and I was just like, get out of here. There's no way that's him. Yeah. That would have been, that would have been funny. I, th- I thought at first, I thought it was the actual mummy from uh, Baba's oh, wow. Palace. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, it's like no, that was the last guy that fought Chao Tzu, basically, <laughs> and he got burnt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even in this episode, when when Chao Tzu's like Dodon wave, yeah, and that guy like sees it again, he's like, oh, he like passes out. He like <laughs> passes out from seeing the Dodon use. Yeah, again. <laughs> which makes it, which so makes weird. you kind of laugh. Why is he in the hospital. <laughs> it made me kind of laugh because I was like, well, that kind of means that that guy was a little bit better than. What Chao Tzu intended because, like, Chao Tzu doesn't uh, start with yeah. that move, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty funny. I, I love too how it's called the Dodon Wave, but everyone says Dodon Ray. It's Ray. Everyone says Ray. Wow. Wave was different. He charged yeah. it up. Dodon Wave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny. You you wanted to see the Dodon Ray again. You wanted to see Goku learn it. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought That's Goku was going to use it, but yeah, no. Um, I it's interesting that the flying technique was basically pioneered by Shin. Oh yes, yes. By Crane, and you know yeah. what's funny too is they like all of a sudden they're surprised that they can fly, but in the past ep- like six episodes, every time they look over and see them by the fence watching the tournament they're both levitating over the fence oh yeah yeah yes you know and it's like tian almost looks like he's just using his arms to like hold him up but like his arms are crossed and he's just like floating there and now all of a sudden they're like he can they can levitate (laughs) (laughs) i like the shot of chatsu like in the air and he's like just walking in the air i thought that was pretty funny (laughs) yeah 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 like, how is he doing this? 
Yeah. I thought that was I thought that was funny. So that's interesting that the flying yeah, I never really knew or remembered where that came from. And I'm still curious as to like when when they adapt like, that, you know. Like when because you... like you you know, you know, you've seen everybody in the future, like they all fly. Right, so it's like, right. When do they when do they learn that technique? Does Tien show them later? I don't know. Maybe it's interesting. Uh, 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 this is also the episode where uh, Goku's like, "Oh, I remember the Dodon wave. That was what." Uh, yes. To um, Tao. Yeah, yeah, Tao. And Tian's like, what did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's what uh, Tao used when I killed him. Yeah. <laughs> what did you... There's no way you beat Tao. Tao was a great man. <laughs> it's like, like oh, that's, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. That's a lie, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. then you get the realization that... Even I like that that reveal too, Master Roshi's like I oh, I yeah. wish you were lying, you know, because the ramifications of that are pretty pretty yeah. pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it this episode too where he's like Yeah. I think it's the next episode, but here where Goku is like How is he his brother? They don't even look the same. No, it's this one, yeah. And then he's like, Well, like I guess it's possible because Master Roshi and his sister Baba don't look the same at all, except for the whiskers. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny too. Yeah. I like how TN, you know, he like immediately has to like walk through the crowd to like go. Like, oh, yeah. Tell tell Shin, like, yeah. Hey, that guy over there, he just said, <laughs> he said he killed your brother. Your brother. No way, dude. He's like, oh, no really? Way. Then I want them all dead. I don't care anymore. Kill them. Yeah. Yeah. What a what a such a funny like turn, you know? Yeah. But I think uh, that's I think cool. I I think that uh, Tao being his brother, I think that's a cool like setup. Yeah, oh yeah, that was. It's kind of bringing that storyline full circle into this story. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then I think like Shao Su does the spinning head thing, right? <laughs> and he attacks um, a bunch of times with a spinning head. No, that's next one. Oh, is that the next one? Yeah. Okay. So Shao Tzu keeps using Dodon in this episode. Oh, and Krillin's, Krillin's like rolling out of the way, right? He's rolling yeah. all over the stage and then he rolls to the edge and then jumps out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. And it ends with it ends with Krillin being like, "Well, if Yamcha and Goku can do it, then I can try it. I think all you do is put your hands." <laughs> yeah. And Roshi's like, "Don't do it. You'll die." <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Is this again? It's probably the next episode, right? Where he does the math stuff. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. this one. He does the thing, and he he just says Kameo Mayo wave. And he does yeah. the hand thing and it goes like poof. Yeah, he just says Kamehameha like quickly and it's just kind of yeah. like just kind of like <laughs> bursts yeah. out. Yeah. And right, he's like, oh. You got a whole bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so episode 91. Counting controversy. Yeah. <laughs> I totally thought this was going to be that like both of them are gonna fall down. Oh uh, yeah. And there's gonna be like a one, two, three count, but they both you know, and then like who gets up first at the same time and then it's like a controversy right. of like who wins. Right. Nope. Nope. It's challenge is just <laughs> too stupid. Stupid, yeah. It was like no, no, he just the kid is stupid with math problems. Yeah. But it was cool. So so Krillin does use the Kamehameha like effectively. Yep. Um, ah! and it's... <laughs> I like that though. I like that he jumps. He jumps the last second out of the yep. way of the Dodon and blasts him 
you know, yeah, from behind him, which is great. And and Jackie Chun is like, you know, Roshi's like super surprised that he was able to do it, but also he's like, if he would have trained, Chaozu would have been dust, you know. Yeah, and you're like, it's well, like, yeah, duh. Dude. I don't think like... we're trying to kill people in this turn. Isn't isn't that like, don't you get disqualified if you kill people? <laughs> no, no problem. Not this one. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. So you should... cool. I love seeing Chaozu go like flying through the air. <laughs> and then he like stops before he hits the ground. And he starts like flying back over to the stage. He's all burnt and all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he just flies right back up and starts his Dodon yeah. thing again. And I was like, yeah. Oh, uh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So then is this the part where this is the part where he uses he does the spinning? Yes. Yeah. So he does the spinning head technique. And I like that part where Krillin's like, oh, I can do that too. And he like tries to headbutt him and just blasts oh. his skull. Yeah. Head, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Then but then later, he grabs him like yeah, this. Like, he's just and like, it like slowly <laughs> comes to like a stop. You know, he slowly yeah. stops like spinning. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah, and then he reveals he has another technique where he can, you know, basically like twist your your organs, <laughs> yeah, whatever he was doing to him. Yeah, yeah, he's like, it hurts so bad. Then he's like, what's a plus four? And he's like, um, well. He starts counting, and then he's like, "Yeah, sponge them." Yeah, I like that too. He's like, "Here's your other five and he's like, "Blank." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As, I think that's the part where, like, he he decks him in the stomach, and shouts whose face is like his tongue is out, and his eyes are huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. And then he does it. He does the same thing again, and he asks him nine nine subtract one, and he's like. Yeah. That's when he like that he he hits him so hard that he like blasts against the outside <laughs> ring wall and falls on the ground. Yeah. Yes. That was good. And then it comes up on the screen above Krill and said it's like nine minus nine minus one is eight. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Helping all the children of the world understand math problems yeah. through fighting. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I was satisfied with that ending because I was fearful that mm-hmm. like Shao was gonna you know, like it was gonna be those two guys against like Roshi and Goku, you know. Yeah. The thing that I thought was kind of stupid is like so Krillin has this great moment where he you know he wins and you're like yeah where to go Krillin, and then they're yeah. in the hospital and he's kind of gloating a little bit about you know he's like you know Chachu he's what they call uh, slow. <laughs> and I'm yeah. a genius. Yeah. yeah. And then Bulma's like, okay, what's eight billion three hundred forty six thousand times? And it's like, yeah. It's like, okay, great, Bulma. Yeah, you're super smart and mathematical, but you realize that he was asking literally like nine negative one. Like right. that's the type of math equation that Chow Tzu didn't know. Yeah. So like, you know, six yeah. digits, I think anybody would struggle with that, you know. Well, it was also funny too because then Krillin uses his hand to count. Yeah. Well, I see. Well, divided by the <laughs> by three. Plus the yeah. One. Yeah. That was pretty funny. It was. Funny. Oh, and also, also they kind of fake you out too. Remember they uh, while Krillin is fighting, you, you see like Krillin get knocked out of the ring, and then oh wow, uh, Yamcha wakes up and he's like, "Oh, I was just dreaming." That's <laughs> like. Wow. Don't do this. Don't do this. Chow Tzu picks Krillin up and just breaks his back and after. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Yamcha wakes up in a cold sweat. Oh, man. Oh. I can't believe they just told me that happened. You're like, no, it's not a dream. I don't remember yeah. what episode it was, too, but like, remember, like, Boar gets up and shuts the window and then. Yeah, I'm just like, go to the tournament and tell me what happens. Oh, I it's think it's like, the one. I think it was last one. The one yeah, before. The, yeah. 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 But it's like, obviously, they're going to come to the hospital after the tournament's over and see you. Yeah, I'm just like, it's not precedent that you know. Like, you're going to know the same yeah. time <laughs> regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was confused, too. Like, 
I thought Bulma was like taking him out of the hospital. Yeah, yes, yes. And she, and everyone's like making fun of him, you know, and then she like yes. stomps on his foot. And then the next thing you know, he's just still in the hospital. It was yeah. like she was just walking I, him around the hallway. Yeah, okay. Cause I thought he was saying, like, oh, I feel I feel better. I feel, wish I should get to the tournament and see everybody. Yeah. And then he like doesn't go to the tournament. No, no. can't. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so now that Shin knows that Goku killed his brother, Shin wants everybody in Roshi's school yeah. to die. So Kill them all. Yeah. What about um, a body bag? What about a bag? <laughs> so he sneaks into their hotel at night to try to kill yes. Goku. That was very surprising. I did not yeah. expect that to happen. Yeah, it's pretty great. So it's great. You get to see Goku and... Krillin fighting in their underwear now. Yep. And we've only seen Krillin fight in his underwear before, I think. In the pirate cave. <laughs> oh, yes. Because <laughs> yes. they're swimming and then he fights General yeah. Blue or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it was pretty great. It was pretty good. And it's like, oh, big reveal. It's me. Obviously, I want you dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool that Tien comes and stops the fight. Yes, yes. And he's like, Master Roshi should watch all his students die in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, your heart is so cold it even warms my own. <laughs> I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> pretty funny. I like how Goku just jumps out of the broken glass window, too. That was pretty great. Oh, yeah, he doesn't care. And Krillin's going to follow him, and then Roshi's like, doesn't anybody forget to there's stairs? <laughs> no time for stairs. Oh, boy. All right, so then in 92, last episode, Goku enters the ring. Yeah. Yeah, so Goku is going to fight Pomputs. Pom, Pomput. Yeah, Pomput. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like a big movie star, but also like boxer and he has he has won a few tournaments i guess yeah he has like some some credentials like and even roshi's like well yeah he's a big movie star and he's a dope but like he knows how to actually fight yeah yeah so it's like so what's the story so his managers like don't want him to lose so they they're yeah. gonna like kidnap Goku so he can't like be at the tournament. Yeah, they're just gonna like confuse Goku and like take him away so that he gets disqualified and like now that guy can win and like not lose like movie right like not lose the the like the yeah the, the heart sponsorships of sponsorships and stuff. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Hearts of the viewers. Launch is getting ice cream and sees like Goku walking with these guys into their car and she's like that's not I, right. I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'll trade you. And then gives him the ice cream and takes his bike. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's fun too, because I think the first time we see Launch, she's she's in like a bike chase, chase out scene. I think so, yeah. Um yeah, so she basically catches up and she's like, Goku, you're an idiot. Like, these guys aren't, there's no new tournament <laughs> arena. Right. Like, get back to the arena. He said he was taking me to the new. <laughs> he mentioned a memo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then he gets back there and then you yeah. think, what's his name? You think the manager is going to get like, destroyed by launch and then somehow she sneezes and she's like oh yeah i i won't do anything to you like i'm sorry yeah (laughs) yeah that is that is right that's funny but then yeah goku fights papa and it's like again he's very cocky yeah he's up on the roof remember that's his appearance like god yeah that's right (laughs) <laughs> yeah. So he goes to punch Goku. Goku dodges it and then elbows him in the gut. And it's like yeah. done. 
done yeah. deal. That was it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm I glad that that's fell. not what like all the tournament was. Yeah. I thought when he fell, he was going to get back up. And then it was just like, nope. Yeah. Nah. Man. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that classic. wasn't that's one a, hit to the gut that was three consecutive elbows <laughs> that's a pretty um goku uses that move quite a few mm. times that like the crouch slide in uh, it's pretty great <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's it that's where we left off um yeah so next time we're gonna finish the tournament um, sure. and we're starting at 93, which is Roshi versus Tian Shinhan. Yep. Well, Jackie. Yeah. Well, we know. Shh. Wink. It's called Evenly Matched Tian Shinhan versus Jackie. Yeah, I'm interested yeah. to see how they go forth with everything. Yeah. Yeah, how it finishes and how it carries on. I'm interested to see how it goes. Yep. So you know, because so it's one be... of those things where it's like, so now you have you have Roshi, Tien, Goku, and Krillin. Right. So if like by the title, it's like Jackie is fighting Tien, and like Goku and Krillin are fighting each other. Yep. And then the winners of those two will fight each other. So yeah. Yep. Which is cool. Yeah. Never happened before. Like they've never had to fight each other. Right. Just Roshi and um Yeah. Krill right. in the last tournament. Yeah. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, that's cool. It that's is. Cool. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. It's going to be fun. So we will see you guys next month on the 19th for another exciting episode of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to blaze through it, man. We're going to finish the Tian Shinhan saga. Blaze. And then we're going to start the King Piccolo saga. It's going to be Piccolo. great. You'll see yep. that in August. You will. <laughs> yes. August, September, October, November. We'll be done with Dragon Ball in November. Is that what we're... That's what it seems like. So for my birthday, we're going to start Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No. Nope. to start it two years. No. Nope. We're watching nope. all the movies first. <laughs> the conclu- I think the conclusion will come out on on your on your day and then we'll start yeah. dbz in december yeah yeah right 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 yeah how funny is that that i didn't even plan that that uh the dragon ball episodes come out on the 19th and also <laughs> you just yeah right that's my actual birthday <laughs> you were like that sounds good <laughs> i like that that's a good number it's a good strong number <laughs> <laughs> yeah so cool. So we had we had fun. It's cool starting the tournament, uh, seeing the tournaments again. Yep. And I think kind of, I don't know. I don't know if there's much filler left. I think this is kind of all ramping up to. It, I kind of get the impression that this is yeah. like, they're not going to have a lot of these like rando episodes, but I'm probably wrong because they kind of always do. They kind of always have these like one off. Yeah. Episodes. Well, yeah. There will oh the will something will happen where we'll need to gather the Dragon Balls again. Mm. You know, it's been three years, right? It's been three years. No one's attempted to get the Dragon Balls. True. So uh, there will always be a reason that they need to get them or something. So I'm sure that will happen. Always. And then other than that, I think it's just, yeah, more cool. threats to the planet. <laughs> cool. And it never ever and <laughs> perfect perfect like oh man we finally defeated this guy that was crazy and it's like 
You got oh, yeah. Well, now I'm here and I want to blow up the planet. It's like, oh, man, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Pretty great. So, all right. So we will see you guys next next month for the conclusion. The Tian Shinanzaga. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong.